I certainly feel, I think, with regards to the first-class game and the, the domestic structure, I, I think it's been sort of pushed to the sides a little bit. We, we've seen the new 100-ball uh, competition, which is fantastic, and we saw the crowds, people watching cricket, bums in seats. But we're the only, we're the only nation that has two sh very short formats of the game. It's, it's 100 and a T20. So what that does then is it makes it, it sort of you don't prioritise, which is probably England's most uh, historical event, which is Test cricket. First class cricket gets pushed to the beginning of the, the summer when mm. batting is notoriously harder, and it's the end in September where batting again is harder. But it's not just the batting; it's it's the skills of other things. It's bowlers learning to bowl on flat wickets, mm. so that generally negates the, the the you have to then rely on pace or different skills. You then start producing spinners. So spin has to come in and be part of the game. But the other thing is that the and and it sounds it sounds easy, in fact, but and batting on flat wickets. But you start learning the art of batting for a long period of time. You don't go out there and, and try and think, well, I'm going to get 30, 40, and 30 balls, because the wickets aren't conducive to batting for long periods of time, because there's generally going to be a, a ball with my name on it. So that you're learning the skills of how you're going to build an innings, how you're going to set up, how you're going to play against a new ball on what is closer to test wickets, flatter wickets. And you're learning all the traits that's going to, that you need for when it comes to selecting a test side. Everyone. Uh, has got experience, but also you, you're playing longer forms of the game. But so many times now, we'll see, and, and, and Mo will vouch for this, so many times now, four-day games are over in two and a bit days, like we've seen here. We don't, there's not many draws anymore. Mm. And uh, yes, that might be boring, but I tell you what, draw uh, long four-day matches certainly stands in good stead for when it comes to selecting players, and you know those players are sort of battle-ready to go out into the test arena. But some, if not all, of those issues apply equally to the other test-playing nations, don't they, who are coping at the moment rather better than, than England? A little bit, yeah, they are, but I think we haven't got to look at other test-playing nations. We're sitting here as three Englishmen, we've just lost the Ashes. Before the series got halfway, we've got to try and find out why. And I think a lot of talk about Chris Silverwood, who we've just heard from, Joe Root, who we heard from at the press conference. Mm. If we think that you know, getting rid of the captain and the coach is, is an answer, it's just so, so short-sighted. It's ridiculously short-sighted. You know, the system all needs has to change. I said yesterday on another platform that this moment now, and it's actually now after what's just happened, this moment now is England's red ball team in a lot more and a lot worse state than what the, red, the white ball team was in 2015 when we left for the tail between our legs in the World Cup in 2015. And we pressed the reset button. And I think we have to. Trotty spot on. How do you, how do you get a batsman to get 100 in a test match? He's got to learn how to bat for six hours. There's only one person in this team batting for six hours consistently over the course of a long period of time, i.e. two, three, four years, and that's Joe Root. And nobody else can. Nobody else has, sorry. And, you know, and it goes back to your basics, the fundamentals of where do you learn your game? Manus Labashian and Travis Head played county cricket last year. Travis Head averaged 11, I think, down at Sussex. Manus Labashian, the bowler that got that... And these lot joke about it. The Aussies joke about it. 46-year-old, 45-year-old, sorry, Steve-O, 45-year-old, Darren Stevens, LBW, Manus Labashian. You know, he's talking about it, most talking about it. You don't face, you don't face cricketers in first-class cricket or anywhere near to what you face in Test Match cricket. That's the biggest thing, because what you then do is the jump and the gulf is huge. The jump and the gulf is huge. We've been talking about the baton with your Joe Root and identifying and in and around off stump. Why do you, why do you struggle to face in Australia? The bouncing ball, you know, good pitches, being able to trust to hitting the line through the ball. When you bat in England, it's not like that. So far, I think, I think since February, we've had, I think we've had 12 test matches. We think we've won one. We scored 304 times in 21 innings, and I think two of them was 302 and 303, 302 and 303. That is embarrassing. You're not winning test matches, and something's got to change. And Trotty's right. It's not first-class cricket. It's not county cricket. It's the problem. It's actually when we play it and how we play it. And I think that changes. It gives us a little bit more of a chance to bridge the gap between playing at home, playing away, and producing cricketers who have got the concentration, who have got the skill sets, and the ability to bat for six hours. The test match lasts for five days. Mm. We're not even getting into day three. And largely down to batting. Largely down to batting. We are being carried in the bowling department by a 39-year-old who looks as good as ever. And we are being carried in the batting unit by one of the best of the modern generation in Joe Root. 
We've got bowlers that can steer with Jimmy Anderson. Unfortunately, we haven't got batters that are anywhere near steering with Joe Root, and that's our problem. And just on the back of that, Joe Root actually played a lot of Champo games last year, and he didn't score many runs. And this is a guy who's had an amazing um, calendar year in mm. international cricket. And what happens is you end up facing a lot of bowlers who are bowling probably mid-70s, nipping it around. Good bowlers, of course they're good bowlers, but then you lose out on your pace bowlers then. Anybody with a bit of pace, you actually enjoy facing that guy on that particular wicket because it's not quick, it does a bit. And those guys who bowl slow are much harder with the keeper up and stuff. And you end up, me, I'm, I played a little bit aggressive anyway, but you end up playing shots that you, like over the top from almost ball one at times because you know your 30, 40, 50 runs are massive in this in the con context of these games and mm. so then I, I think that really needs to have a look at either when you play those games or um, how competitive you can make those games and what you're looking for in the fast bowlers in that you're a captain uh, you captain at Worcester you captained a bit at, at, at Warwickshire <laughs> if 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 four day games are lasting two days and you've got a young 18 year old fast bowler a bit raw you know a young Steve Armisen raw up at Durham on a corrugated up and down wicket if the, if the top score is going to be 150, 180, 200, Steve Armisen doesn't play mm. because he bowls 10 overs or 50. He might get two wickets, he might get three wickets, but he doesn't play. And then his development goes because he's playing second team cricket. You've got to identify what is going to be the key components to try and make the England red ball cricket team the best. And I think we've got to try and find a balance between red and white because there's too much dominant on, on, on not only white, but the commercial side of the mm. game. Yes, money makes the world go round. But I think we need to have a look at the, everything that we do with the red ball, and that comes from the top all the way down to under-19 red ball cricket and try and make sure that you know, it gets better and better and better. Because at this minute in time, I don't think we've seen red ball cricket in this country be as bad as what it is for probably before I started playing.